Mark Phillips from the University of North Texas. Um, a little background, one of the things that we decided to do a few years ago would be to become a, kind of a multi-institutional repository for cultural heritage objects in the state of Texas. Um, and really all that means is that we deal with 65 partner institutions at this time, always getting new ones, um, to create metadata of their you know, cool stuff that they have in you know, small museums and small libraries. Which also means that we get to deal with metadata, um, qualified Dublin Core metadata that's created by these various institutions all over the place, um, volunteers, um, professional catalogers, the whole range of things. So what we've done um, to help manage some of this is, is create this metadata analysis tool, um, which we have working on all of our digital collections right now. Um, and what it does is it takes, it just kind of scours over all of our digital collections, um, pumps all of the data into um, just some tables and uh, lets us pull it out and, and do some queries on it and look at it and see how the, the data is acting within itself. Um, the first thing we do, uh, we like to have, uh, we like to say, okay, you need a title, you need a description, you need a subject that matches a controlled list, you need um, language, at least one coverage element, resource type, and format. So quickly we can look at our entire digital collection and see which ones don't have that. So we're actually good, all of them are at zero, um, that's, that's nice. If, if we you know, required a creator, we could easily go in and query that set, say, okay, well these all don't have creators. Um, take a look at them if you need to, to kind of recognize what's in the digital collections. Um, and then quickly jump into our metadata management system to start editing that metadata. Once you save that record, the whole system updates itself. Um, some of the other things we do is when we'll bring a new collection online, um, say we upload an entire collection, we, we just finished scanning all of the um, soil surveys from the state of Texas before 1950. And so um, we were able to then you know, have three or four different people doing the metadata in the library. And instead of them you know, arguing for hours about authority control beforehand, um, we were easily able to go through, load the data into the system, and then afterwards, just go down, um, just look at that collection, and then walk through and say, okay, here's how you did all of your publishers. Um, and you can quickly point out, it, it tries to highlight things that are next to each other that you know, just kind of bring your eye down to possible problems. Um, and you can see that these slightly differ. Um, you can you know, do ordering and sorting, and just kind of different ways to look at your data. Um, <clears throat> And then if you want to just work with, you know, we have qualified Dublin Core, if you want to see all the instances where Adriana Belden was a photographer or um, a, uh, an author, you can just say ignore the qualifiers and just deal with the direct values. Um, if you wanted to do, um, if you only wanted to work with the Library of Congress subject headings and make sure that those are all correct within themselves, you can do things like that. Um, in addition, really it's just a way for us to start building new views into the metadata, because if you have a student in there coming to edit metadata, you want to give them new views of the data so that they don't get, get trained to look at data in a certain way. So you can go through um, and easily just, um, uh, you know, browse all of the values for different collections, various um, kind of subsets off of that. Um, fun stuff, you can um, create word clouds of various different types, just to, you know, just once again, to give users a very different view of the data every time they look at it. Um, so you can get the, the fun word clouds, or you can then um, start playing with, you know, your algorithms for how you actually show interesting words. Um, and, you know, they do, do, do more interesting things with them which, you know, my metadata librarian said, well, that doesn't help me at all. Um, you know, how are they ordered? And I said, randomly. And he said, well, it doesn't help me. And he was like, oh my gosh, that's still there? And went, noticed a value, and spent the next hour and a half fixing that one value, which would have been about 10 pages in if you clicked through. So just, you know, really just presenting data in a different way over and over again. And for those um, kind of the, the voyeurs in the group, you can look at your metadata and see you know, who's editing what and um, kind of keep track during the day of where your students are working. Um, if you notice a problem, you can 
you know, stop them real quick and say, okay, here's what we're trying to do. So 